Hey guys, welcome back for another day of the Thai Jam. I am Kristen and I'm here with my friend. Danielle, hey, what's up guys? And today we are gonna go over arms and hands and shoulders. So we're gonna go ahead and start in sideline today. Go ahead and get your partner ready to go. Go ahead and get sideline position. Would you like your hip propped? Uh, no, I'm good right now. Cool. We're not going to be on our side too long, so unless your partner has, unless they need the support for a short period of time, I wouldn't really mess with it for today. But while you're in session or doing a long give, it might be a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and move the pillow forward. Oh, thank you. Yes. That way I can come back here. We're just going to kind of warm up the area. So if you guys tuned in with us before, you would have already seen us do some of the moves we're going to be doing today, a little bit of review to show you a different way you can use things, different orders to kind of show you how you can start to build the session. So I'm starting by just leaning back. You create a little handle with your hands, lean back, give some length. What I'm going in for is shoulder cuff today. So I prop her arm up with my, with my left hand. With my right hand, I'll come in and with a loose fist, just kind of warm the area up. Danielle is sensitive to pressure. She, it doesn't take a lot of pressure for her. So that will vary depending on who you're working with as a you know, how crazy you go with here or go in here. But generally, this is a pretty sensitive area. People generally don't get much work here. So as we go in and start to work the side body, just be aware that there's probably like a lot going on that just hasn't been addressed before. So just be really kind and loving as you come in with the soft fist. This one is very kind and loving right now. That's right. So after I feel like I've done enough warm up around the area with the soft fist, I'll come in and support with my right hand and bring my left forearm. I kind of use this area here and just some cross fiber. I go actually along with it, warm up the area softly. I'm feeling a lot of movement in my rib cage and it feels amazing. Great. Do you have some anatomy to show kind of the rotate, maybe show the rotator cuff anatomy so we can show what we're working with here? And be aware, you know, if your client is wearing a bra with a wire, obviously we don't want to roll over um, the wire and dig that into your client. Be aware of clothing and what's underneath you. I'll come in and just kind of Settle in. I like to lean in and kind of rock back to give some opening, some separation. How's this pressure here? Oh, it's wonderful. Awesome. I can feel my shoulder opening up. I always encourage my clients, my friends to foam roll because this area just doesn't get the attention it needs for all the work it does. So after doing a little bit of warm up, back to the refresher, we've done this before, a little twist to just kind of give the body a little opening. After I compress, I like to open and stretch. And you can see I'm a little bit far, I'm too far away, so I'm not able to give, well, I know you probably don't want a ton of pressure, but I still want to come a little closer so I'm not reaching Good pressure there. Oh yeah. So I know that we're working on shoulders and arms, right? 
So as I'm doing this, I'm opening the pec. Even my hand here on the arm, you could do some myofascial. Take a deep breath in. And with my right foot right below the shoulder blade, just kind of pull back. The right foot is giving support, so the twist is only in the upper spine, the pec, the delt opening. You can continue down the back opening. There's a lot more you can do. As always, we are showing you a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna keep moving. We're gonna go ahead and go on our backs now. So I've started to warm up the side body. I've done a little bit of attention for the arm and hand. And I'm gonna come in and the same thing here. When you're leaning over the arm, you can control how much pressure. So for Danielle, she wants less pressure, so I stay back. But I'm just kind of rolling as if I'm making snakes in Play-Doh, right? Feels amazing. And I just move up and down the arm, just giving, giving a little warm up. I didn't realize how much tension I had in my left bicep. Mm. Mm. And just a reminder on the anatomy for our biceps and triceps. As we're warming, you can check this out here, the area we're going to be warming now, going into. Once I feel like I'm nice and warm, come in with my leg underneath her arm. I'm holding, my left hand is holding her wrist to get it into place. And you could just roll the arm on your leg. So right now I'm working her tricep. I can use my arm, I can work her bicep and her tricep at the same time. You can even hold it in place. Do some rotations. Be aware of her hand or your partner's hand. You know, your body is still here, so be aware if you are a female of your breast tissue, of your face. Nobody wants a hand to the face. No, don't, you don't need it. And as you do these, you know, work with your client, with your receiver, work with their breath. You can work on the bicep. And this can be really intense. So you shorten. Feel that. Oh. And move slow, you know. This is pretty powerful. Gosh, that's releasing so much in my shoulder, and weirdly, my elbow, too. Mm. So at this point, I like to slide my feet right underneath her shoulder. And if you're, you don't feel like you're right in the spot, you can use the arm to kind of tug and get your feet in the right place. And what I have here is I have my feet, my feet are together like this underneath her shoulder, right? And so as you're doing this, be aware you also have a, you have a hand right here. I just feel like my whole shoulder is open with you doing this. And remember your hands, you have the, you have a forearm in your hands, so you can do a little bit of compression, a little squeezy. I like to slide down, slide my feet out, and right here underneath, the same place that we were warming up when we were sideline, and that's why I started sideline was to kind of soften here, because if you move in too quickly, it's very shocking, intense, you know, it's just hard to, it's hard to receive. So you want to warm things up before we go. You want to go general to specific. So now we're coming a little more specific. Can you see, I'm trying to show my toes. So you see my toes right here? 
underneath her arm, right below the armpit. And I'm just, I probably need to be a little lighter because I was kind of pressing. You're good? Oh, yeah. Or you could just wave your toes, right? And so for someone that wants a little less pressure or maybe to start, just kind of wave them. You're softening the body. Once I've softened a little bit, I, I might find a, a area with uh, some dense tissue. I might find that and kind of like open. Is that okay pressure-wise? Oh, yeah. Okay. Shoulder joint. All right. So also last time, this is something you might see that we did. But I'm kind of changing up a little bit. So last time we came in and we worked the hips. Here I'm showing you how you can, we're using the top foot to kind of keep her body into place. As I'm doing some compressions to her hip and I'm also working on her hand. So you can come in, you can do a little jostle with your left foot, right? At the same time, do a little myofascial release to the arm. Not everyone likes uh, the dragging without lubrication or oil. So of course, everything you do, you know, the client's not into that, I would skip, but you could always come in instead of doing that, just work the hand. You can, if you're tired, that left foot, you can just do some compressions as you're working the hand. Be very mindful as you're coming through the thumb. There's a pressure point in here that can be pretty intense. Also, most people are pretty tight in here. So I like to come through and I'm kind of underneath the hand, I'm stripping with my pointer finger and my index finger, they are stripping on the bottom. My thumb is working the top. You can always come in and Whatever it is that you feel your client needs, you know, you can sit here and work the hand, work the arm, work the, you know, as I'm sitting here doing the compressions, the jostling with the left foot, you know, I'm working the spine, all the muscles alongside the, you know, the, and there's just so many things that are being affected right now. So then I might come in. Do a little compression. So when we're doing compressions with the foot to the arm, you use your heel, keep your heel on the floor and use your foot as if you're pushing on the gas. This is really good. So while I'm sitting here giving a compression to her forearm, I can always come down with a hand to her shoulder, giving length to her pegs. But I have two hands. I can use both of them, give some compressions to the bicep. And as I'm doing this, I'm watching her hand and I see that her hand is getting a little pale. Do you feel any tingles? A little bit, yeah. Okay. It's not too bad though. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly let off her hand. You'll see that her hand's a little pale. So I'm going to slowly let off. You'll see the color start to come back. She'll feel the warmth. All right, now come in for another compression. And sometimes it's nice to go ahead and give your receiver some open hands. But do be aware, I'm on the edge of a crack, so I want to make sure that I'm stable before doing this. Now I'm going to come into her 
wrist, just above her wrist, and her forearm. Being aware that the muscles are thinner near the wrist. So this takes a lot of balance. Some of you, this might be too much. If, it's, if you're unable to, you can always use your hand to keep her hand open. You can always bend over and work her hand. Oh, sorry, that was a little rough. My thing is, is that when I'm receiving this, this gets a little, it gets a little uncomfortable having your hand all crunched up. So that's why I like to give the finger support. I'm actually going to come up and go back in. How is that there? You can even have them make a fist. Open wide. That's the hard part is the open and wide. Wave side to side. If someone's got some major stuff going on in their wrists, I mean, in their arms, this is just like the bee's knees. So good. You can see your hands starting to get a little pale again. And relax. I'm going to slowly let off. We didn't start right at seven, so I'm going to just finish with a little myofascial release. So I want to kind of finish off with giving a little myofascial to the top of her arm. So whenever you go in for myofascial, obviously there's no lotion, there's no oil. I start right near the elbow, right above it, and I hook in. And when you're doing this in a session or in casually, this moves really, really slow. We're not going to quite move at snail speed. This is very boring to watch, right? But if you have anything going on in your forearms, this is insane. It feels amazing. You can even have type like you're typing a keyboard. Do some active release techniques. Yeah. And just remember this muscle that we are tracing down attaches in the hand, so I always like to follow through. All right, well, let's go to the other side. Sometimes I like to give a little length before I leave. Then you can even come back and address that hand one more time. Oh, but by hand. Going to the other side. You can get as detailed as you want in the hands. I mean, you could sit here and work each finger. You know, there's plenty of people that need tons of handwork. So please get creative. For now, we move on. I'm gonna go blow my nose real quick. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So we will go to the other side. You know, the way you build your session just depends on you and how you want it to flow. Since I already have Danielle on her back, I'm going to come over to this other side and work this arm before putting her into sideline, and we'll see how she does with that. Since in the first part, I used sideline in order to warm up the area, we'll see how she handles this pressure with me going straight into her, laying on her back, going into, those, into all those muscles in her side body. So again, I'm going to come and make some snakes. These are the best snakes. Best snakes. Moving up and down the arm, leaning in, using your body weight, kind of feeling around where the tension is lying. 
Nice cut to her shoulder. Once again, being aware of uh, bra straps. Sometimes bra straps might have metal in them, so just be aware to not press anything that might be uncomfortable into your receiver's skin. Texas, you might have a gun in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when I do this, sometimes I, I mean, I will walk all the way down. It's kind of a little cruddy spot. There you go. I'll walk all the way down the arm. Just giving some compressions. You can feel how you're spreading everything apart. It feels amazing. Good. I'm going to go ahead and push this pillow to the other side. Perfect. So here's where I'll come in. I'll warm up. Tricep, bicep. This one more mad than the other one. It likes what you're doing. <laughs> So right now I'm just kind of leaning in with the flat part, you know, right above my elbow. There's no elbow being used, just forearm. <laughs> then it would jump off the mat if I was using elbow right now. And as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm working the tricep against my leg. I'm working the bicep with my forearm. And you can come in and shorten, kind of find a good spot. Find a good spot and rotate. Once again, don't hit yourself in the face. <laughs> you can feel how you're pulling this way and rotating the other way. I almost popped myself in the face. <laughs> After all those warnings. Right? Even a seasoned pro can <laughs> pop themselves in the face. So don't worry. Your client might actually enjoy it. Yeah. My arm loves you. So. Right? All right, guys. So we're going to go back in, and I'm going to grab the forearm with my, with my hands right above the elbow. And, you know, like I said last time, it's nice to give a little compression to the forearm. Use the arm to lift up and put your feet underneath the scapula. And we'll go in and we'll warm these muscles up. You might need to move your bottom back a little bit. That's so good. So all that movement in my shoulder goes off. All right, guys, then we slide down once again, coming in. And I kind of, I always make sure that when I'm coming in, that I'm not pinching. This is, it's really easy to come in when you're coming in here or even coming in with your toes to pinch. And that does not feel good. So be aware to kind of lift up your client or receiver's arm before getting going. Pressure's okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. I did warm Danielle up a little bit because I, I knew that she's a little sensitive to pressure and I, didn't want to just jump in. So she's been a little warmed up. But again, just to control the, the pressure here, you can just go side to side. You can more dig in if the person, if your receiver can handle that. <laughs> no, we'll keep, we'll keep it light on the toes. And once again, you can kind of find a good spot with some tension. Very. 
smells so good. We'll come in, move your right foot down to the hip, and then here's where we need to be careful to not pinch, kind of lift up, yeah. right? So now her arm is supported, and you can see I'm falling off the mat backwards. If that, is hap if that does happen, you can always ask your receiver to move, but I'm not going to ask you to. Or you can give yourself a little mat. So I used one of the blankets to give myself just a little extra room. But typically, your receiver will not care to just bump over a little bit. I'm just not trying to, I'm trying to show you different ways that we can adapt to different situations. So again, I'm going to come in and like jostle. Just because we're working the arms and hands does not mean we can't warm up the hips a little bit. You could do some myofascial to the arm. You can even sit here and do some different movements to kind of work the arms. Oh, good. Being aware that your person's pressure sensitive as I'm being crazy. Basically, I'm, I'm pinning the muscle with my thumb as I'm rotating with my hand, a pin and stretch technique. I'm gonna come in. You can even do a little pin. As I do this, just remember the fingertips, straighten them out a little bit. You can even sit here and do a rotation. Also remembering that you have a hand right next to your body, so be aware as to where you put things. Like just kind of pull on the thumb. as my left hand is slowly tracing down her forearm. So as I'm working this thumb, I'm grabbing it and I'm working all this pad, right? So you pull, you can like, it's milking. You're like milking the hand. But don't forget you've got your feet kicking over here. It's like driving a standard or driving a motorcycle. There's like all these different things going on at once, but it's fantastic. But check out the anatomy of the hand. I don't know if I've put that up quite yet, but you can see there's a lot of different muscles uh, in our hands. Lots of little guys. Most massages, you ask them for hand and arm work, they breeze, breeze over it pretty quickly. So it's nice that doing Thai massage, we can really take some time, work all the different areas at the same time. You can trace between each finger. Oh, I need to hurry up. All right. Once again, stepping on the gas. Got your heel in place. Keep an eye on the hand. Checking in with my client, my receiver. She's doing some active, active movement as I have my compression in. Once again, as we get towards the hand, the muscles get thinner, maybe more tender. So be aware as you apply pressure. Oh, come on.
using your left hand to keep the, the hand open. I brought my right foot into the middle of the forearm. It was an area where I found a lot of tissue that was like dense. So I kind of wanted to settle there and just give a, a nice long compression. See about getting that to release. And slowly coming out. And we'll go into sideline to complete. And once again, perfect. My my receiver moved the pillow up for me. You got training. Yeah. yeah. So there's many ways you can pull. As I've shown before, you can cup cup your hands, pull back on the shoulder. I had my my left hand supporting her elbow, my right hand pulling at the shoulder. Just do what feels natural. Just trying to give a little length. I'm gonna come in with a loose fist, right hand supporting her arm. Be aware to not hit your client in the face with their own hand because that's not nice. <laughs> Too. Unless they deserve it, then pop pop. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and same thing, once you feel like it's been warmed up properly, you can come in with a soft forearm. Go back and forth, warming up the tissue. A little much? Mm -hmm. Better there? Yeah, You're welcome. And then you can come in after the tissue is nice and warm, after you've sit here and spent a little time warming everything up, you can come in and do some detail work where you find some dense tissue and you just kind of settle there. Take a deep breath in, open it up. Right? There's many things we can do to kind of go in here and do some detail. And even though the pressure is supposed to be open, you're doing amazing at finding all of those little spots that are hurting. Oh, great. I lean in and I'm opening this area up, trying to give some separation here. I'll come in, you know, depending on what's going on with your receiver. You can come in and kind of go more towards the back. You can come up here more in the shoulder cuff. And after you've done all your detail work, come back and give, them, give your receiver a little stretch. Remembering that we haven't done a lot of work to the back hip so just be very gentle I like to kind of warm up just gentle pulls I'm opening the pec I love myofascial so I always throw it in just kind of opening bringing the left foot in right underneath the scapula deep breath and Deep breath in and out. And the same as last, I like to kind of come in and finish giving a little length to her neck, giving more attention to the hand and arm. There's another time where you could come in and do a little more detail work to the hand if that's what you wanted to do. For us, this is about right on time. I might have thrown a little bit too much in to really kind of give you guys time to try it, but hey, let us know what you think about it. At this, you liked it? I loved it. <laughs> that was awesome. I have arms again. So at this time, we are going to take a quick bathroom break. We're going to switch places. See you in just a second.
Hey y'all, it's Danielle and I'm here with Kristen and I'm going to basically follow what she did and just offer you guys uh, a couple little differences and different ways to approach it. So you have your receiver and the beautiful sideline and as Kristen pointed out, if they have a pillow, I'd like to just lift it up, scooch it on over to create some space in the back for me. So I like to come, I like to take my hip and meet my receiver's hip just like that so they know that I'm here, there's no space, they feel safe, supported, and connected. I'm going to come in, hook our hands together, grab onto these beautiful deltoids, your shoulder cap over here, and just lean back and pull. And just pull. And you'll see your receiver lifting up. And just rock back and forth a little bit. How's that pressure been? Perfect. Good. And again, just coming in to that shoulder cap, reaching in and leaning back. And you can lean back towards their hip to create a motion this way, or back away from their hip to open up those pecs a little bit, or even a little bit more out to the side. Just opening up that shoulder girdle, softening it, letting us know, letting it know that we're there. I like to do circles. I think just because I like the shape of circles. So they're very round. I think so. You can't hurt yourself with a circle. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Run into a lot of tables. So got her nice and warmed up. And then I like to come in and using either the palm of my hand or a loose fist, just moving that shoulder blade around, getting supraspinatus, which is that big flat muscle on the back of your shoulder blade. It's kind of a jerk. It likes to get hurt a lot. Feel some tension right here, right where her delts and teres are. I'm going to use little knuckles, just kind of jostling around in there, letting everybody know that we're here to work. Get it in all warmed up. Bring back. And this is just how I like to work. We're all different. And then I also like to come in and compress the shoulder and just do some movement like that. How's that feeling? Good. So a little bit of jostly. I love jostle. I think so. It's hard to hold tension when you're being shaken. Good. So let's come in. And as I'm doing that, I'm just moving my hand in like this kind of a motion as well. Let's get that off. Pull back. Like that. Pull back. You'll see there's a lot. You know, we can come in here and do a little bit of a stretch sometimes. Come across. But we're focusing on her shoulder today. Get that all nice and loosened up. So then I like to come in and bring my knees up to my client's bottom and up to their back. So again, just let them know where I'm at and not coming in out of nowhere to start stabbing places because that's not fun for anybody. So I like to come in and using the flat part of my forearm, just do gentle compressions. You can use the palm of your hand, the back of your hand, your forearm, anything like that, top side. And really, again, it's just that jostling, getting some movement into the rib cage and into the shoulder. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So then what I like to do is to come in, lift that shoulder up, take your forearm right into that armpit area. I know it seems a little bit weird, but trust me, it feels amazing. And just press down a little bit. So I'm using this part of my forearm, pressing into the armpit and onto the ribs. Just pressing very gently and then pressing down. How does that feel? Good. Awesome. It's like a hooking. Yes. Then I like to take and just press on the arm because that helps open up that shoulder a little bit. How's that? Wonderful. And then I got this whole other arm here. Might as well hang out. Just say, hey, hips, what's going on? I like to spread just like that. How does that feel? Just spread, add in a little length. 
and spread. How's that? So now I've got my arm hooked into her elbow. I'm just pulling back a little bit. How does that feel? Creating some more torsion in her shoulder to open it up. Not everybody can handle that, and that's okay. We just try to meet our receivers where they're at. I love Kristen's feet and back. Oh, that feels so good. So that's where you come in. You take your top foot, find it right along the shoulder blade. So here's her shoulder blade in this area. I'm gonna go right below, support it. I like to come right below the elbow into this nice meaty part of the forearm. And just gently pull back while I gently push in with my foot. How does that feel, Kristen? Awesome. And you feel her arm, it's tight, her shoulder's tight, but it's slowly, slowly letting me in as I just lean back and pull back a little bit. Some people can handle a lot more, which is great. Kristen, we're gonna try that. I'm gonna grab back here, I'm gonna press in, and then you'll see, lean back with my whole body. How does that feel? So, totally, you can always change everything to meet your client's needs. Kristen can handle a lot more pressure, unlike me. So, you can be a little bit more aggressive. So I'm grabbing and I'm pulling. And then just like she said, you got two hands here. So I'm gonna massage these nice forearms. These guys do a lot of work. We gotta hold our phones, drive our cars, interact with people, we get tired. So pull. So what's really cool is I'm feeling the, the stretch on my right side intercostal, the muscles between my ribs. Mm -hmm. As she's pulling me open, I can feel that even stretching. So Wonderful. Nice. So I've got my foot supporting her shoulder and her shoulder blade. My right hand supporting her wrist and pulling back, getting that wonderful tension. And what's that word that we do when we hang on people? Traction, traction. Uh -huh. Getting wonderful traction. Pulling that shoulder open, working on these hands. Now Kristen is amazing. She had her other foot over here. Oh, how great does that feel, right? So I am a little hobbled at the moment, sprained my ankle. So I can't do a ton of pressure. But that's the great thing about this. I'm not using a whole ton of pressure. All of it's on my right foot. And I can press in, get that shoulder open. How's that feeling? Yeah. Wonderful. So, and then now what I like to do, support the elbow and then bring her back. You know, don't want to just let it go. It's kind of mean. Got her all noodly. Don't want to just drop her. How's that feeling? Good. Good. Do this again. Just get some movement in there. Then come in, pull back, and relax. So I also have my knee pressing into right between her spine and her shoulder blade. So it's pressing in here when I pull her up on to my knee, and that's helping create a pressure or motion towards the front. And as I'm pulling back, that is what's opening up this shoulder. We're getting this nice pec stretch, nice supporting of the upper back, but really opening up the shoulder girdle and creating some space. How's that feeling? Good. Come in. I like to do just some nice compression around the shoulder cap on these delts because we do a lot of work and they can be angry jerks sometimes too. Okay, so now that I've got her shoulder all nice and softened up, I'm going to have you roll onto your back, please. So, you take your receiver's arm. I like to shake it out a little bit, depending on what they can handle. Just shake it out a little bit, and then we're going to come in and do palm press. Lay our hand, our arm out at 90 degrees. Sometimes your client, your receivers can't go up this high. Sometimes they're down here. That's totally okay. You just meet them where they're at. We're going to do palm press. I like to start right at where the pecs meet the shoulder pressing in. How's that feel? Oh, be careful. Okay. So, oh, Kristen. Sore. No, no, that's I started okay. lifting weights. So, Kristen is being super awesome and getting all strong and buff. 
So we're going to be a little bit gentle. If that happens with your receiver and you're just like, oh man, I'm going to hurt them too much, we can take a towel and lay it down to help diffuse some of the pressure. Like, oh, add even more. It's going to be much harder for her to feel all of that pressure. Like but, I feel the pressure, it's just not as specific or bony, I guess you would say. Yeah, as pointy. Yeah, which but is, you still feel the compression, it's great. Yeah, totally. I'm going to just show you guys without the uh, support. I'm going to be really gentle. So we're going to come good. in with palm. Just press in. How's that feel? So this is, again, just like Kristen said, we're going to lean forward, pressing down. Oh, a little lighter on the top. And just hold. So I was a little too heavy on where her pecs and delts and bicep meet. This area is very, usually very tough for a lot of people. There's a lot going on here. So be gentle and respect that. So we're gonna do some gentle palm press, gentle kneading, and then hold. So what I'm doing is I'm stacking my body weight to get more pressure, or I'm leaning back to get less, whatever she needs. You can also do some gentle rocking, which always feels good, right? Or you can pretend you're a kitty cat. I'm just going to make some bread and turn her whole angry arm, an angry shoulder, an angry bicep, an angry forearm, and some nice floppy bread dough. Now. Kristen showed y'all being able to use your feet to really stand on the client or on your receiver to get that extra pressure. Not only is she a little bit sensitive, but because I've got a janky ankle, can't really do that. So what we can do is we can use our knees. This is where we have to be very, very gentle, very aware of what our receiver can handle. So you can come in on the bicep or on the deltoid shoulder cap area and just very gently Put your knee on, and then as you'll see, I'm going to use my hips and just lean in. How does that feel? Good. Do you like more or less pressure? No more, please. You want all the pressure? No. No, we're not going to do all the pressure. That would be horrible. I like Kristen. Perfect pressure right now. Oh. I want Kristen to continue to like me, <laughs> so no more pressure. But as you can see, this is my knee. And it's right here on this top of the shoulder, a shoulder cap or your deltoid. You know, the, the big muscles that like to look into your arm or go into your arm. When we want more pressure again, I'm just gonna pivot my hips and lean in, but I'm not pressing down because Kristen will hate me. I was like, no. No, I won't do that to you. But that's what we can do. Again, just stacking our, our hips up and down. But again, not gonna do that. You like Kristen. So we're gonna hold there. Now, sometimes your receiver is like, dude, I can totally take infinite amounts of pressure. Awesome. If that happens, take their beautiful hand over here and you just start rotating it. And you'll feel those uh, deltoids and their shoulder cap muscles rotating and moving underneath your knee. And again, this can be very intense, so we want to go slow and gentle. Give your receiver time to really process the work that we're doing so they don't hate you in the future. Now, when you're getting ready to leave, you don't want to just come right out of it. That's horrible. We like our people, right? We li I like you. Yay. So what we're going to do, instead of just jumping out, because that can cause a rebound, is we're just going to lean and slowly come off, just like that. So now... She's got her arm again, but we know more stuff's in here. So, hey, big part of your delt there. I'm gonna come in and again, very gently lean. Now, this can be very, very painful for some people. That's where we grab our sweet, high-tech, super awesome purple towel. <laughs> and again, this is to help diffuse the pressure because we want that deep, nice, mashing feeling to get that release, but we don't want to hurt our receiver. So again, come in here. Ooh, how does that feel? Right, right? And then again, we're gonna bend the elbow. Gentle rotations. Gentle rotations. 
So, and again, if I wanted more pressure, I could lean more into it, but I'm not because, you know. Mayday. Yeah. Mayday. I want Kristen to continue to like me. And then we can also hold, and you'll feel. We'll hold, and we're going to let lower that hand. You'll feel that tension, right, all the way there. Oh, look, her hand doesn't want to fall all the way down because it's so tight. That's okay. You can come in, do some nice palm presses on that hand, oh, right? Yeah. So now my knee is still holding biceps. And then because of the mat, triceps are also getting worked. But now I'm working these hands, opening this jazz up. And I can, because I'm here. I'm gonna do this. Anytime you're working on this arm stuff, you know, stay towards the meatier stuff if you're gonna do that nice heavy pressure. When you get closer to these joints, be a little bit more gentle. You got delicate wrists, there's a lot of tiny little bones in there. You don't want to make them angry. Just do press and press. How does that feel? Good. Okay. And then I'm going to come off just like that. I'm going to shake her out. Shake her out. And then you can have your arm back. <laughs> so now I'm going to move to the other side and see what that's like on her. On her right arm. Now, most people are right-handed, so I'm expecting a lot more going on here. Is that the safe bet? Uh, I mean, I'm left-handed, but... Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, ignore everything I just said. <laughs> Doesn't count. Makes sense why Kristen's <laughs> left side was more painful. So, But again, whenever we're going to start working, we don't want to just go hog wild into here, start mashing on stuff. We want our receivers to like us. So we're going to do some nice palm pressing again. Really feel where that tension is at. Hey, guess what? I found some. <laughs> really feel where that tension is at. She's got some right in here. In your biceps, coracobrachialis, all this. And then you have your deltoids come in. And they like kind of tie in. So all this jazz can get really, really tight. Again, we're just going to come in. Hold. I'm going to hook in with the palm right there on that anterior delt. And I'm going to stack my body weight. And just lean in just like that. And then I can take my other hand, gently rotate the arm to get some movement in there while my wonderful receiver does some beautiful big deep breaths. Oh man, I am shedding. Look at that. Everywhere. I just want to make friends. So right in here, we have interior delts coming in. Also kind of marries in a little bit with pec major, which is why this area is really sensitive. So again, we want to be very, very gentle here. A lot of people, this is a lot of pain. A lot of stuff is held in here. So I'm going to come in. Do more palm pressing. Just like that. Oh, so she's definitely got some stuff down here. We're going to address them in a little bit. But we're going to come right in this area again, put our knee. And again, this is too hard for your receiver. Just use a towel or a blanket or something. I'm going to come in so you all can see. And gently lean in. How does that feel? Good. Good. Okay, big deep breaths. So I've got part of delt, part of bicep, corco, all their attachments trapped underneath my knee. And I'm just holding while Kristen processes the work that we're doing. You can come through. You can come through, do some gentle rotation on her arm. Again, my main focus is the work that we're doing here. But just going, hey, don't forget. Got this beautiful arm down here that I haven't forgotten about. How's that? Good. I really like how it, like, I like the pin with the rotation. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And 
You can be more aggressive. I'm going to back off with my knee because I've got her pinned in pretty hard and she doesn't you want pin me. You want to? Let's see what happens. All right. So Kristen said go hog wild. So I'm going to lean in, stack my body weight. Is that okay, hon? Okay. So as you can see, I took my hips. Watch my hips. My hips were like this. I'm bringing my hips more in line, more downward pressure, supporting myself. So now I'm stacked more along this. I'm not going to do any more because... I feel this is where she's good. You see my face. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Again, still want Kristen to like me. But I've got her arm shortened so that way I can get more pressure. Then just slowly bring the hand back to the mat. Bring it back up. And now we're going to introduce some more rotation. Again, pay attention to your receiver. And you'll see her face as we start to do the rotation. What I'm feeling underneath is I can feel the muscles slowly rotate slowly move and something just relieve i've backed off a little bit because it's pretty intense i'm going to bring this back out just like that and then again we don't want to jump back out because that'll be a little bit painful in that rebound so we just slowly lean back just like that also oh, nice right so there we go. see my left kid is tighter <laughs> <Yeah, it is. laughs> So we've got this, you know, nice big bicep here. We've got some nice big uh, forearms here. I can feel some tension right here. So we already saw this on the other side. We're going to focus a little bit more on this forearm. Thank you. So we're going to come in. Right here is where I'm feeling that tension, this nice big meaty part of her forearm. So I'm going to come in, kneel down, and again, most of my body weight is right now being supported on my left knee and my left uh, and my hands and that is because I'm trying to make sure i don't go in too deep or too fast and i can't stand on just my left leg so i have to use my knees today how's that feeling wonderful so now that i'm hooked in i can back up a little bit How's that feeling? Good. Got a lot of hair. I don't know why. What happened to my hair tie? But we're friends, so I have to lift my hair a little bit. So now that she's had a chance to process this, I can come in here and start working on these hands. Oh, man. She's got some stuff in here, y'all. I can tell you. So you can day see. Day two of motorcycle riding. Day two, yeah. She's. It's got a good control of that, good control of that bike. You can see her hand color has changed. That's because I've got a lot of pressure coming on here. We're just going to work these guys. It's nice. How's that feel? Good. Just coming in, working on these beautiful little fingers. Beautiful. What are these phalanges? I always remember that. If anybody watched that show, Bones, Bones talks about flying phalanges. That's flying fingers. I'm going to come in. Look at all these beautiful fingers, just like that. Get that nice stretch in. And so now we see her hand. Her hands change color. So now we're going to take her knee. Slowly back out, and you should see all that blood right back to her hand. We've got that beautiful pink color. How's that feeling for you? Good. And while we're here, just show that hand some love. Strip it on out. Mash it on it. How's that? There we go. Very good. Love that. I didn't do it on the other side, just for the interest of time. So much hair. Y'all, I need to wear a hair tie next time. I can't use my left foot because it's all jacked up. So I'm going to come in with my right foot. And as you see, I'm using the nice broad part to get into this armpit here. I'm going to come in just like that. How's that feel? Wonderful. Then I'm going to grab her arm and just pull. So now what I could do, I could really push with this foot. I mean, as you can see, I'm going to put my foot in your face for a minute, but as you can see, I can get in there 
pretty far. I'm not going to because, you know, again, it's a little bit, gen, you know, a little bit aggressive. So I've got her supported, grab it on. I'm just going to lean back. Just going to lean back. And I can feel her shoulder lengthening and softening, which is great. And I'm going to come in, move down again, flat part of the foot. I'm going to just come right up, move up onto those ribs. You okay? Yeah. Okay. And then pull just like that. And again, I'm not using my arms to pull her back. I've got her secure, and I'm leaning back. I'm leaning back like that. Very gentle. And then just because we're here and it's nice, just moving down. Again, taking that flat part of her foot, holding it, molding it to her body. So we're not just stabbing her with toes and heels. Nobody wants that. All right, so then I'm gonna have her roll over real quick to her left side. And we're getting almost done. But I'm going to do a little bit of this shoulder work because I'm not a monster and I want her to leave a fairly equal to evened out. I'm going to come in here again, grabbing, grabbing the shoulder and just leaning back, doing these nice circles. How does that feel? Very good. So I like to sit like this. This is what's comfortable for my hips. You sit however feels comfortable for you. I like this because I can also pull her onto my knee. If I wanted to, just like that, and come in to our shoulder mobilization, just like that. Look a little bit on these beautiful deltoid, our shoulder cap muscles. Oh, her anterior delt, man. Could spend days here. Front squats. Front squats, that's right. So strong. So strong. So strong. You can tell it though, man. You know, and then again, just gonna also come in here, lifting the shoulder up using that part of my forearm, just lifting it up, getting that mobilization in there. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab again the lefty. Not my strong ankle today. So I'm gonna use my right foot. Coming in right underneath shoulder blade, just like that. Is that okay for you? Yeah. I'm gonna pull back. How's that feel? Good. Good. So I could do lefty, that makes more sense, but can't do anything on that today. Come back in and lean. And my right foot is just stabilizing her as I'm opening up the shoulder girdle. And it's just to keep her from rolling all over the mat. And again, do that beautiful stuff she's so good at doing this jazz. And that is basically another version of how to work on the shoulder girdle. How are you feeling there? Feeling good. Yeah? I'm going to turn around. Oh. <sighs> All right. <sighs> so, wanted to thank you guys for uh, attending the Thai Massage Jam with us today. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how to work on your shoulder, your shoulder girdle, your rotator cuff, biceps, triceps, and these wonderful forearms that are always so, so tight. And I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for joining us. And don't forget that the if you purchase the DVD and uh, workbook full collection within the next 30 minutes after, sorry, I'm like, blah, I'm all jumbled after receiving that work. Massage uh, <laughs> But if you were to want to purchase these in the next 30 minutes, you'll get a free Thai Jam shirt. And also if you need to do payments, there is an option for that. So check out the books, you know, if you're interested in learning some more and also tune in with us next time. We should be back in about two weeks. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.